Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another DIY CNC video. This is a follow-up video to a question that was posted by a YouTube viewer. He was interested in seeing some more technical information on the repeatability of Centroid's new kinematic touch probe. So I decided to set up a demonstration again with the ring gauge and we're going to run some bore probing cycles on the ring gauge and check out the position of the center point of the bore and the bore diameter, the results that we get. And we're going to perform uh, a couple different uh, tests. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'm going to come up, go over to the control here and I've got the parts setup screen up right now and I'm going to hit F5 probe and there's a whole bunch of probing cycles show up on the screen and then I'm going to pick uh, F1 bore and all you got to do is position the probe anywhere in the bore and then hit cycle start to start the pro automatic probing cycle so I'm going to go ahead and hit cycle start and it will start the probing cycle Now this probing cycle has fast and slow probing rates which are set up in the CNC control. These are just the default rates which is 10 inches a minute and 1 inches a minute. You can change them to whatever you want for your particular application. Um, the mill that I'm um, using here, the machine, is an MCO PC50 trainer mill and I have a lead shine closed loop stepper motors on it. So let's check it out here. We've got some results. It's letting me know the center location of this ring gauge on the table. And it's also letting me know that the diameter is 1.0001. So the ring gauge is a 0.99996 ring gauge. So we're talking about tenths here. Um, Let's go ahead and set a zero position uh, at the center of that bore using the parts setup menu. And then I went back into the probing menu and picked probe bore again and we're gonna hit cycle start and we're gonna Run the probing cycle again. and see what we come up with. Now this machine here doesn't even have real ball screws on it and it's a trainer mill. So uh, look at the results that we're getting here. We're having a positional accuracy of exactly the same of where we set it and a diameter coming out of the exact same diameter reading. So the fact that we're repeating the same position and the same diameter leads me to believe that uh, maybe all we need is just a little bit of calibration on the pre-travel on the probe and we could might even be able to get it under one tenth. But, but one ten thousandths of an inch here for this machine is absolutely phenomenal. So let's do one other little test here. I'm just going to move it off center with the MPG and off center in X and Y. And then we'll run the probing cycle again, uh, not starting at the same position in the bore and see what happens. And when I set up the turns ratio uh, on this particular machine, uh, I didn't do anything fancy, so there's no laser calibration on this machine. Um, I just used a 1-2-3 block, and I used the probe itself to verify that when you're asking for one inch of movement, that you're actually getting one inch of movement. And um, Alrighty, let's see what we got again. So now it's reporting that the center of the probe is indeed at zero, zero, and the diameter is one inch exactly. So we have a difference of one ten thousandths of an inch between this result and the last result. Now I can do this all day long, and uh, which I have, and I consistently get about a one tenth variance uh, for this kind of machine. 
Um, that's absolutely amazing. So I just wanted to give you that quick demo to see what the kind of really nice results you can get with these new Centroid Kinematic Touch Probe. Talk to you soon.